A lovely day to you. Thank you for joining us on Spotwa Television News. My name is Amos Atende. Our top stories. Police arrest APC Ward Chairman for raping a 12-year-old minor in Nasarawa State. Nasarawa Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice tests positive for coronavirus. Bandit killed two farmers in total local government area of Nasarawa State. President Muhammad Ubuari to sign the revised 2020 budget into law to die. APC crisis has taken a new turn as party chief term drag party to court. West African Examination Council WAYAC sets to make pronouncement on the recent development in the educational sector. And in sport, Manchester United sealed a 3 knee away win against Aston Villa at the Villa Park. This news is streaming live on Facebook and other social media platforms. Like our page, subscribe for more updates. Now details of the news. The All Progressive Congress Ward Chairman in Obiluku Government Area of Nasarawa State, Mr. Oga Christopher, has been arrested by the police for defiling a 12-year and a 13-year-old girl, respectively, in his house in Obi Town. A source told Spatula Television News that the suspect, Mr. Oga, lured the guests when they entered the house to fetch water, adding that this was not his first time. The State Commissioner of Police, Bola Longe, confirmed the incident to newsmen and ordered an investigation into the matter, assuring that the suspect will be charged to court. Commenting on the matter, the Executive Chairman of Obi Local Government Area, Mohamed Oige, said the accused was saved from being manhandled by angry youth in the area who allegedly caught him in the act. Nasarawa State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, who is also a member of uh, the state government task force on COVID-19, Professor Abubakar Abdukarim Kana, has tested positive to coronavirus. This report was confirmed by the state commissioner for health, pharmacist Ahmed Yahya, to newsmen in Lafayette, the state capital. The commissioner is said to proceed on isolation at the time of filing this report. Armed men suspected to be kidnappers have killed two farmers and abducted two others in Omosha town in total local government area of Nasarawa state. The two kidnapped victims were simply identified as Khadijat and Abdul Wahab. According to the eyewitness, the government in their large numbers attacked the victim at their farms, opened fire, killing two farmers while abducting two others. The traditional ruler of Upanda Umaisha, Alhaji Usman Abdullahi, confirmed the incident in telephone interview, saying the incessant attacks by armed bandits in his chiefdom is causing a serious nightmare to the people as farmers are afraid of going to their farms over fears of being attacked by the armed bandit. The news will return shortly after this time out. Please stay with us. Welcome back. The presidency has said that President Muhammad Buhari will sign the reverse budget into law today, following its passage by the National Assembly in June this year. The Senate had on June 11 passed the reverse 2020 budget of 10.8 trillion naira. A breakdown of the figure shows that the sum of 2.4 trillion is for capital expenditure, while recalling non debt expenditure stand at 4.9 trillion naira. The federal government had in April cut down the 2020 budget by over 320 billion as, and proposed a new budget of 10.27 trillion. According to the government, this cut is based on the global economic realities as a result of COVID-19 pandemic as well as recent crisis in the oil market. All Progressive Congress SPC crisis is taking another dimension despite the party's attempt to search for a way of lasting peace. It will be recalled that the ruling party, first by turbulent times ahead of a Doe state election, had dissolved its National Working Committee led by Comrade Adams Oshomole. The decision was made at the party's National Executive Council meeting presided over by President Muhammad Buhari, which a caretaker committee was later set up led by Governor May Malabuni of Yobe State. 
But the chieftain of the party, Latif Arigbarowo, has filed a suit seeking for dissolution of the Buni led caretaker committee. In a suit filed at the Federal High Court in Lagos, the plaintiff is seeking an order of the court setting aside the decision taken in the NEC meeting, which he declared illegal on the grounds that the meeting was conveyed on June 24 and heard on June 25, contrary to Article 25 of the APC Constitution. Away from politics, the head of Nigerian Office of the West African Examination Council, WAYEC, Mr. Patrick Arohan, said the examination body will still review government U-turn on school resumption and will make its position known soon. This is coming after the Minister of Education, Adamu Adamu, announced the reversal of government's earlier position on school reopening at the end of a meeting of the Federal Executive Council meeting presided by President Muhammad Buhari. The minister further stated that the atmosphere was not safe for teaching and learning in the country. In their reaction, West African Examination Council WAYEC head office, Mr. Patrick Aregua, told newsmen in an interview that WAYEC would update the public as soon as the final decisions are taken. Announce sport. Manchester United sailed a 3 knee away win against Aston Villa at the Villa Park to move within just a point of the top four position of the Premier League. The Red Devils continued their push to finish in the top four as Fernandes, Greenwood and Poba were all on target for Soldiers' side. And that's the news before we go, a reminder of our top stories. Police arrest Nasrawa APC Ward Chairman for raping minors. Nasrallah State Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice tested positive to coronavirus. Bandit killed two, farmers kidnapped two in Nasrallah State. President Buhari to sign revised 2020 budget today. APC crisis take new turn as chieftain drag parties to court. And finally, Wayek reacts to Nigeria's U-turn on West Africa senior secondary school examination. And in sport, we reported that Manchester United sailed a 3 knee away win against Aston Villa at the Villa Park. And that's the news. Thank you for watching. My name is Amos Atindi.